Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's Delux922 here, bringing back another video. With today's video, I'm going to be reading you guys off every um, every detail about the new patch out today. Uh, there was an update, it says it was uh, 9 gigabytes, but really it was 0.8 gigs. Um, every gigabyte says it's 9 because of, like, I guess the um, from the actual game itself. But anyways, not talking about that anymore. Um, I'm going to be reading you the patch notes. Um, I'm only going to be reading you some of them. I'm going to be reading the ones that really everyone really cares about, so not really the zombies ones. Uh, if you guys want me to make a separate video on the zombies patch notes, please tell me to do so. So let's get right into this. And for the multiplayer, they addressed, they addressed the issue where dark matter camels were not appearing on the black market. Resolved bugs where players were unable to lock gold slash diamond on the Marshall 16 and MX Grand if they were earned weapon class mastery before TU5. Updated visuals for prestige kill counter and clan tag. I don't really care about that. I never used it anyways. Um, resolved issue where the wrong image would appear when a player received the Reaper Geist specialist theme in a supply drop. I never had that issue. Addressed bug where NX Shadow Claw's bayonet would display the wrong image if banned or protected in arenas. What the, f the heck just happened here? All the round ended. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, fix an issue. Okay, no, I just read that. Updated official custom variants for the CWL competitive game modes. Added live event viewer to allow players to watch Call of Duty World Premi World League games from the main menu. I actually hit both of these shots right here. I think this is the game. I hit it like three or twice. General gameplay fixed issue where white image was appearing in the kill feed for Fury Song kills. Or the yeah, the Fury Song. I think it's called. I have no idea. Corrected the bug where the Fury Song icon would display in the kill feed whenever a player received a kill with the combat knife. So basically, you got a kill with the combat knife. It showed up as the sword. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. That wasn't really a problem. Added ricochet damage for care package owners in hardcore mode. Added ricochet damage for players planting or diffusing bombs in search and destroy. Score streaks. The Wraith addressed an issue where the Wraith was being destroyed by one less rocket instead. Rolling Thunder. Fix the bug where the Rolling Thunder could be seen on a minimap by enemies who are not using the Engineer perk. The Maps Combine addressed exploit where people would be able to mantle onto rocks near start spawn and get outside the playable area. Fringe addressed the exploit where players were unable to gain an unfair amount, an unfair advantage by standing on top of the visual collision near Red Barn. I've never even seen that glitch. Infection prevented player from escorting safe guard robot inside building. Oh, I think that means like when you can sit on top of a building or something. I don't, I don't know. Redwood spawned model near SND bomb site B to prevent to prevent bad line of sight. Skyjack prevented players from escorting the safeguard robot from second floor of buildings. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. Adjusted hard point zone so players were, are unable to hold it from outside the building. Splash spawned additional collision to prevent yellow tube exploit. Carved out collision in the red tube to allow better player movement. The weapons they've only changed one. They only changed two weapons, which is actually pretty insane. Um, the first weapon we're going to be looking at is the ICR. They increased accuracy, now has less recoil. They fixed the Iron Gym, the, cro the crowbar. Yeah, the crowbar, I think it is. Fixed consecutive attack speed to be consistent with other melee weapons. So I guess I wasn't as fast as the other melee weapons. I don't really... I mean, I guess that could be a problem. But anyways, the challenges. I know a lot of you guys like going for challenges. I know a lot of you guys like going for 100% completion. Fixed issue where players were unable to earn progress towards the chameleon camo if the Varix 3 was attached. Address bugs where the Marshall 16's progression would count towards the MR6 st stats if using dual wield attachment, which is pretty retarded. Pretty retarded. Oh man, imagine there was a fourth guy there. Resolved issue where the running gun prestige challenge would not track if players gained kills using the dual wield attachment and gung ho. Address the bug where players were unable to earn progress towards the chameleon camo if the dual wield perk was equipped. Um, there's arena changes, there's zombie changes, there's the rising drock. They fixed itself for the rising drockin. Um, general, general stuff like that. Um, they fixed dead ops arcade. I'll read you guys the arena stuff. 
So, uh, if you don't know what Arena is, it's basically competitive game modes that you play and you get ranked and, like, you get stuff for ranked. And I know in Advanced Warfare you got, like, a really sweet purple gear or whatever that I really wanted, but, you know, I suck at Advanced Warfare. Everyone says I'm good at Advanced Warfare, but I'm not. Trust me. Improved matchmaking in arenas. Fixed issue where parties could occasionally be split when searching for a new arena match. Add a neutral state to ban slash protect options. If you don't know what that is, basically you can ban weapons or protect the weapons. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played competitive like that, but that yeah, that's what that does. Um, players are now able to continue editing classes and streaks after pressing done. That that's nice because I used to I played a few competitive matches. Custom games added NX Shadow Claw to the custom game competitive options. Social fixed issue where reporting a player would not update with the correct name. So I'm I'm guessing you reported somebody and it said you reported someone else when you. I I have no clue. Um yeah, there's zombies. They fix the next point in the daily challenge. Um I want to say that's about it. That really matters. Anyways, that's been it for the patch notes for today. Today is also 3-1-2016. Uh, like I said, if you guys really want me to do zombies patch notes, please let me know, and I will make a video on that. Also, here's one of my opinions. I, I said this on Twitter, at David Vonderhaar. We should have another MSMC. If you agree, please tell me that we should have another MSMC. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out!